I really need your help guys. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome. My name is Natalia and if it is your first time here, do not do not leave without hitting that subscribe button because you're gonna want to join the fan band. I promise you. And like I said, I need your help. So help assist out. Come on. You know, I knew wedding planning would be hard. And as a proud Latina and proud Puerto Rican like me, I'm obviously trying to incorporate all the traditions that I can, but damn, this ain't easy. If you've never seen any one of my videos, I'm getting married next year, you know, God willing. And my fiance is Brazilian, and obviously Brazil and Puerto Rico are two places that are extremely rich in culture. This has led me down a really long path of trying to figure out which traditions I'm gonna put in place, because honestly, I don't know. First off, we have food, and I can't even tell you guys how many videos I've talked about Puerto Rican food because I'm a fat ass, and my family's a fat ass, and his family's all fat ass, so obviously food is very, very important. Many would say it's the center part of a wedding, you know, besides the bride and groom, everyone cares about the food. And as Latinos, of course, do not play when it comes to food. And there are just so many options. I'm so scared. Like, are people gonna like the food? Is there gonna be enough food? Are people still gonna be hungry afterwards? Like, is someone gonna come up to me and ask me where the nearest cuchifrito is? Because, because I don't know. You know, I think I'm gonna keep it simple and I'm not gonna go over the top with food because I'm gonna lose my sanity. And I can't do that because next we have music. Like, I need to learn how to samba. I need to show up for my man. Even though he can't samba to save his life, that don't mean I gotta be that way. You would think I would know after seven years of being together, but it's hard, okay? It is hard. If anyone wants to teach me, I'm open. Like, I've tried so many times. You know, they tell you to make a heart with your feet. It's hard to make a heart with your feet. I can't even make a heart regular. Like, I can't even draw a heart with my hands. How am I gonna do it with my feet? This clearly, clearly, I'm going crazy. Oh my God, and we haven't even gotten to the souvenirs yet. Like, do people still do capias? If you don't know what a capia is, girl or boy, where you been? Growing up, that was all anyone gave at every single party. Kid you not. I'm gonna leave an image like right here for you guys to see. And it's usually like a ribbon, like white or pink or green. And it's usually a pin with like the bride and groom's name on it or the baby for the first birthday's name on it. Or the señorita at a quince or sweet 16 or your grandma's name when all her kids finally move out. You get what I mean. An old Puerto Rican tradition from what I've read requires the bride to hang them from the bouquet and then give them out to people during the wedding. But like, how do I decide who gets one? Do you know? Do you know the bochinche that could start from that? From me giving one to this person and not giving one to that person? I mean, I'm gonna start a whole drama at my wedding if I don't give one to everyone. Because you know, out of every wedding, out of every party, out of every something, comes a bochinche, comes a chisme, comes something, some sort of gossip where this person didn't do that or this person said this to that person. And I'm not gonna be the one to start it by not giving everyone a freaking capia. Another Puerto Rican tradition I read is having like one of those porcelain dolls like on top of the cake or by the cake that looks like the bride and no, 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 no. My grandmother has a bunch of those dolls in her house and growing up, I was petrified. Let me tell you, petrified. Of them I was thinking that that they were staring at me like when I was sleeping or like that they were just gonna walk up to me and start talking so no the answer is no I don't need little Annabelle watching me during my ceremony no 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 I'm good and then we have the alcohol alcohol is a huge part of weddings like in general like not just Latinos like people go to weddings to get trashed I've seen it. I mean, how else do you expect the Opito to loosen up on the dance floor? Like, you gotta give him a little something, something. But you see, now I need more than just the Bacardi. Now I need to find someone who knows how to make a caipirinha or, or get some cachaça or whatever else it is that they're used to drinking. I'm just, I'm just making this video to leave an open dialogue for you guys. You folks who are Brazilian, you folks who are Puerto Rican, you folks who've done or thrown multicultural weddings, how did you do it? Because, <laughs> Your girl is struggling, like I'm not gonna lie. I'm, I'm really struggling. I don't want anyone to feel left out, you know? I don't wanna play too much salsa or bachata or merengue and not play enough pagoji or Brazilian funk or something like that. So let me know in the comments down below. Also, speaking of music, what are some great wedding songs that you, you know, would just go off to? Brazilian and Latino songs. Like what songs are you vibing with right now that I may not know about because 
I'm telling you, I'm putting together a playlist and your girl is struggling, as I've said 500 times in this video, but it is the God honest truth. We have a lot of people that are supposed to fly in from Brazil to this wedding, so I want to impress them. So help your girl out. Leave a comment down below. Do not forget to hit that subscribe button again, as well as follow me on Instagram because when I'm not here, I know I disappeared here for a little while and I'm sorry, but when I'm not here, I'm usually on Instagram and DMable. So DM me, talk to me, say hi, do your thing. And yeah, I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.